What is up, beauties? What is up, Troll Arc staff? My name, of course, is Burnsy. Welcome to Hate Mail. It's a series where we find messages that I perceive as hate, and then we make fun of them. So let's not waste any time. Let's jump right into it. Of course, there is a link below if you would like to follow along. Stop making videos. Seriously, dude, you're just some douchebag who hasn't graduated from college, and your only job is making homophobic jokes to obese kids on Xbox Live. And the reality is, your sorry ass makes money off every single one of your crap videos because you put ads on all of them. Seriously, you need to stop. So let's break it down, shall we? You're just some douchebag who never graduated from college. Well, you're right. I never did graduate from college. I went the entrepreneurship route. You know who else went that route? Bill Gates. He never graduated from college, and you know what? He would make more money in a day than you can make in five lifetimes. How does that make you feel? Your only job is to make homophobic jokes to obese kids on Xbox Live. Why would you think that I make gay jokes and assume everyone's fat on Xbox Live. That sounds kind of like you. I mean, are you that sort of trash talker that's like, you're, you're gay, you're, you're a faggot, you're, you're gay and you're, and you're fat and all you do is eat McDonald's, you're, you're a fat ass and, and you're gay. And the reality is, your sorry ass makes money off every single one of your videos because you put ads on all of them. Of course I put ads on them. I'm partnered, this is sort of my job. It doesn't really feel like a job and I don't treat it like a job. I treat it like a fun thing that I do. I entertain people and I just so happen to get paid for it, but yeah, I put ads on all my videos, why wouldn't I? No, I, I would not like to get paid for working hard on these videos. You know, I don't want to pay my rent this month. I don't want to pay my bills and, you know, I really don't want to go to the grocery store and buy some food so I can eat. No, I don't want that. That's like you coming over to my house and mowing my lawn and me saying, Hey, you did a really great job. Here's a hundred bucks. No, 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 no. I'm not a sorry ass money whore. I, I don't want that. And he ends the message with, Seriously, you need to just stop. Hmm. No. Next message isn't a hate message, but more of a concerned fan on a topic I've wanted to touch on, but really haven't been able to find the right words to have it all make sense. But it says, we've got your back. If you've seen these videos going around YouTube accusing you of being fake, they're getting across to your haters pretty damn fast. But no matter what, your fans will have your back covered. They will learn eventually that we cannot be fooled. So if you follow drama on Twitter, you probably know there's been a lot of people accusing me of faking videos or paying people to fake videos and then they make videos of themselves with screenshots of Twitter and YouTube messages claiming that that's me. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to trick someone. Chaos Silencer says on Twitter, we have kicked Minnesota Burns from PTFO Live. Nobody Epic has been kicked out of the crew. There's a lot of penis on chat roulette and Mr. Technical Difficult enjoys every second of it. From my Twitter direct messages, this is how easy it is to Photoshop. How can I help you today, smaller YouTuber? Hey man, hope you don't mind if I make up some lies about you. From my YouTube inbox, hey man, I'm really struggling to be relevant in this community. Is it okay if I contact smaller YouTubers to make up lies about you so I can report it on my channel? Spoiler alert, none of those are real. They are either Photoshopped or you're using a program called Inspect Element on Google Chrome where you can actually change the text on any website. However, the one thing that I am kind of suspect about that I thought was Photoshop, but now I'm thinking maybe it's not, maybe it actually is real, but not real, would be the Twitter direct messages that a kid showed of me offering to pay him to stage a video or to prove something against someone else. And I thought maybe that isn't Photoshop because it's from December 24th and 25th. If you guys aren't aware, on December 24th and up to early morning, Christmas morning, the Yoush Twitter was hacked. And apparently mine was hacked too. I wasn't home on Christmas Eve and I just went right to bed when I did get home. And I got a call at four in the morning saying, dude, I think your Twitter's hacked along with the Yoush. You just tweeted that you got kicked out of Yoush. And I was in a zero fucks mindset. And so I just got up and changed my password. And I don't know if the person that was on my Twitter sent direct messages. I can't be for certain because everything was deleted, including the tweet about me getting kicked out of Yoush. So if I did send you a direct message between December 24th and 4 a.m. on Christmas morning, that was not me. And that's it for me today, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed your stay. If you did, show that Trollark support with a like rating below. And if you believed any of this bullshit that people spread, take a shower and wash the ugly off you. Goodbye. <laughs>